Hey everyone, Thunder here, and today I'd like to talk about talents, in particular the Elevation Talent, which is a really popular white talent. But before I do that, I want to give a massive shout out to my awesome Patreons. Without their help and support, I wouldn't be able to keep bringing you awesome content like this, so thank you very much to all those amazing people. Alright, let's hop right on in and go check out that Elevation Talent. All right, the most popular part of this Elevation Talent is the Red Redemption ability. Now, Red Redemption is so strong because for one white, you're gonna get a large shield fix, a red spirit back on the board, and if you happen to be using red intensity, you can actually chain uh, to get a one red skill chance, which is pretty awesome. Moving down, we have the Blue Blast. This is a particularly cool ability where you're going to do two magic attacks, a chance to switch those magic attacks to be melee attacks, gain a blue intensity, and if you happen to have blue intensity at level three, then you're gonna add two to three spirits of blue to your board, which is awesome. And the final ability is Spirit Sucker at four white a little magic attack on it, but the key thing here is you get to reduce the opponent's attack stat by 30%, which is incredibly strong. And you get to reduce the red intensity by, or sorry, increase the red intensity by two, which is amazing. Now, white talents are a little bit tricky to talk about pairings with. Because white talents usually aren't something that you use as a go-to for your moves that you constantly uh, use. Weapons don't really support gaining white spirits. Uh, white talents are usually more utility, so they have lower damage side. So normally these are talents that you're putting at the end of combos. But there are a few useful talents that we can talk about um, that would pair directly with elevation in interesting ways. The first one I want to highlight is actually, oops, is actually based on the one white scale. If you get three red intensity, you can use one red with a chance. If you actually go ahead and look up to Assassin's Way, if you have red intensity at three as well, you get a chance to use one white. So you can get this back and forth looping combo between these two, which is pretty cool. Uh, finding a build that uses this is going to be tricky um, just because of the arrangement of needing red intensity and your white and your red talent won't give it to you easily. So you'll have to work around this. But there's something there maybe with a new weapon release in the future. The next interesting thing is this massive physical damage reduction. Now outside of a battle event where in the battle event you can get passive number two to use these four whites, it's really hard to use this. But the only notable talent that could potentially help here is going to be Noble Charge. When our shield is destroyed, we have a chance of using four white, a 50% chance. So we could potentially do this attack, gain some blue intensity, and then trigger a four white, which is really cool because four white would gain us red intensity, which will increase the damage, completely reduce uh, physical damage that you have to deal with from your opponent, and give a little bit of magic damage. So that could be a cool combo. Uh, currently, there's not too many weapons that work around that either. Uh, the third ability, once again, um, is one of those things that is very interesting. And it's amazing for a blue build if you can reliably use two white. Because you could potentially use blue intensity from this and keep gaining blue spirits. If you could trigger this every turn, that's an amazing way to have spirit regeneration. And a bit of damage. Unfortunately, again here, there's... Not a lot of great ways to trigger this. Uh, the most notable way to use this is with the PvP shields, or the Your Heal My Gain shields, which is, oops, that's not it. I have one of them around here, don't I? Oh, it's equipped, so I'm sorry about that. Here it is. Uh, the Your Heal My Gain shields. So when the opponent heals, you can use 2 what? Uh, this is a little tricky to rely on because you're saying the opponent has to heal before you get your spirits so that's really hard to use so this is 
pretty tricky to use again. So we're in this very tricky spot where using four white is tricky to trigger, using two blue is tricky to trigger, and the awesome chain here is tricky to use. And this is really just some weapon limitations, but keep an eye on this talent as new weapons come out. Something really cool could happen. But the reason the popularity for this talent is so large is really just these top two abilities right here. These have so much potential. Shield and red spirit regeneration. Almost all melee builds are going to love having a shield regeneration and spirit regeneration. And the way that's accomplished is through a very popular weapon passive called support for destroyers. When you use four red, you use one white. Now, if you just use four red spirits, you're going to be lower on red spirits, which makes gaining a red spirit really popular. And most of the red towns have a really hard time gaining shield. In fact, some of them get rid of shield. Uh, so having something that gives you shield is really, really strong and useful. So that's definitely worth keeping in mind. All right, that's going to wrap up this overview of the elevation talent. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so more people can find this channel and we can all learn about Westland together. And if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon channel. If you are an awesome Patreon at the Epic or Higher tier, you will get your name added to the scrolling credits on my video as well. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day under out.